Okay, so you can use this tip regardless of what blogging platform you're using, but I'm gonna show you how I do it in WordPress and it is super easy. So basically, when I'm publishing a blog post, you'll see here in the visual editor that I have my text and my square image and this other image and some other images, um, but my Pinterest image is nowhere to be found. Now, if I go ahead and view this blog post in another window, same thing. So you'll see that my Pinterest image, my long optimized image for Pinterest is not actually in the blog post anywhere. So what I, what I can do when I hit pin it or Pinterest or whatever in my toolbar in Chrome or whatever browser you're using, you can install a pin it button um, onto your browser. So anytime you're on a web page, you can pin anything. So when I hit pin it, it will come up and show me the available images to pin. And you'll see here that there's these two right here that go with this blog post that are not any of the images that are in my post. So I can pin that um, to whatever I want to pin it to and be done. And it already has an image or a description here. But again, that image was nowhere in my post. So what I've done is I have hidden it. I hid actually two different Pinterest images here in this post, but most of the time I only hide one. So, so the easiest way to do that, this is to go into your visual editor and you insert the images you want to use for Pinterest as the very first images in the post. So I've got both of them. I've got this one and this one as the very first images in my post. Then I start into my post like normal and that's that. Now, when you go into your text editor, you will see that it inserted those images and inserted them with this code. You will see that you can sort of you even if you're not familiar with code, you can see that that's what's inserted above this first line of text where your blog post starts. So that is your image code. So what you want to do is put the code I'm giving you right before that. So and you can enter down if you want to to be able to see it a little better and then use the closing code right after that. So if you're only using one image for Pinterest, you know, you'll be missing this area completely. I'm using two on this particular post, but it really doesn't matter. You can also enter down for that. Again, that doesn't matter at all. And then once you go back to your visual, they'll be gone again. So you can just publish or update and that's it. So basically go ahead and insert your images like normal in the visual editor, go into the text editor and insert the code I'm giving you right before the image code and then insert the ending code that I'm giving you right after the image code. So that will hide them so they're still available for pinning, but they're not going to be on your post and causing these huge images that make people have to scroll down forever to see them. So that's all.